Right, hello everyone, welcome back to Airport Firefighter Simulator. So, I think we might be getting close to the What's end up, of this. What's up, John? You look a bit tired. Uh, I was up late last night. I was watching the ice hockey playoffs. We double overtime. Great game. I watched it too. What was the final score? Five to four. Double overtime. Great. Not bad. So we're all sleepy. Uh, the water tank should be refilled by now. Then let's park the truck and go get a coffee. A coffee? Was yeah. that a plane? No, I don't think so. It must have been something else. That wasn't a bomb, was it? Why are we still standing around? Let's go. Come on, get in. John, you're driving. All right, on the way. Climb into the rescue vehicle. Ah! Get to the scene as fast as possible. God, this is loud. Now, as always, I always forget about um, how you get the blue lights on. Okay, um, so, possible bomb. So this is basically, this is us kind of getting into the, the bit that we've cutting, been cutting backwards and forwards to. Um, where I've been trapped. Alrighty. Um, what I'm looking for is a view. Well, come on, every man to me, quickly. Well, let me get out. Okay, here we go. Mike, what's the situation? Let's wait for John. I don't want to have to explain everything three times. But I'm right here. What started it? No, the situation is unclear. If worst comes to worst, we'll have to assume that it really was a bomb. I'm still trying to get over coffee. <laughs> right, anyway. Run, 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 run. I'm here already. How should we proceed? Some workers are still missing. John, go inside with Alex and Chris and take a look around in there. Okay. All right, then. Let's grab our equipment and go. Okay, let's go. Well, watch out in there. If it gets too dangerous, get out of there immediately. So this right. is kind of where I get Come trapped. Right. Grab your respirator, axe, and fire extinguisher and let's go. Okay. And the fog nozzle. Eh. Right. Breathing apparatus. We'll get that on. Axe. We'll get that on. And... A fog nozzle. I guess it's supposed to be you. Okay, let's assume it's you. Before you can use a fog nozzle, you have to connect it to your vehicle. Okay, look at the connection. Okay. Oh yeah, right. Okay, so I don't even do a hose thing. So I've got the hose because I'm parked closest to the building, and they've got things, and we've apparently got infinite uh, line of rope. So these are all people. So they're actually following a, a sensical way out of the building, whereas before it's like, ah, oh, fire alarm just going off. Let's just stand here with our finger up our noses the whole bloody time. Oh no. Okay, so we've gone from um, we've gone from modern times part of the prelude back three years ago. Hello, John. Can you hear me? No, I'm sleeping. Piss off. What's up? John, you've got to wake up. Okay. Long, Alex. Take a look out the window. Oh, man. Is that so? Oh, no. Snow. Yeah, there was a complete change in the weather. Mike's put us on high alert. All right. I'm on my feet. Nina! <laughs> Put on your gear. Leave the room and go into the recreation room. Okay, so we've gone from exciting bomb explosions to sleepy, sleepy time. Let's head on through. So we've got to go to the recreation room in this here fire station, which I don't know where it is. Oh, okay. Attention. Operation for the entire fire company. All vehicles to the assembly area at the end of runway 32R. The runways haven't been cleared yet. 
and pose a serious potential hazard to the approaching power plane. The road surfaces across the entire airport have not been cleared either, so extreme caution is advised when approaching. So what? what just what we need. Why not, why not tell them to go around or like <sighs> reasons? Anyway, I'm gonna take a quick options because I want to. Ah, crap. All right, never mind. Um, I can't remember what the key is for um, for changing the camera. Anyway, we'll get into number nine, which is crap. This one. Are we in a different vehicle today? Well, no. Ah, here we are. So we're in this one. We're in the Panther. Right, let's we'll try and work it out quickly. Whoa, no, 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 next. So we activated the monitor, which we didn't want. Mm. Ah, there we go, you can use the mouse wheel. Right, okay, so we're in the panther ass thing. And, uh, yeah, right, okay. Okay. We're gonna do a little cut break. Because the game needs to load. Apparently this game was made in um, in the time of Half-Life 1 when you can't go any more than like two meters before you get a loading break. <laughs> oh well, anyway, um, right, so, there is no such thing as a taxiway, there is no such thing as a runway, it's all just gone. Is there a key to look around? No, apparently there's not, okay, well, that kind of sucks. And we're riding behind one of the DLK units as we're heading over to the scene. Oh, hang on, is that a free camera? No. Ah, okay, so, ah, yes, there is a free camera. Right, excellent, excellent. This is like, what, episode four, episode five? I'm still learning. God, this is a good old drive, isn't it? Okay, so we're coming to here, and the vehicle is just randomly driving around. Yeah, there's a bus miles away from any buildings. Sure, that would totally happen. Right, anyway. Um, so this is our assembly area. So I assume we've just got to watch the plane landing. Mission control to all units. The aircraft is now approaching the landing strip. All units hold their position until further notice. Airfield fire truck 9 to mission control. Understood. Engine 3 to mission control. Understood. Okay! Let's watch this, watch this shit go wrong. Of course, in real life, you would never, ever, ever land the plane if the runway that hasn't been cleared. Bad. Hey, it's got a broken wing. Oh, it's gonna hit that building. And how convenient! It's going to stop right at all of us! Alright! Mission control to all units. All firefighting vehicles to the scene of the accident immediately for rapid intervention. All other vehicles proceed to the crash side as well, but hold back. Engine 3 to mission control, understood. Airfield fire truck 9 to mission control, understood. Let us drive. Excellent. Okay. So we're going to... We're going to the boat, the plane. So we'll go here. And we will use... Um, use the wine C keys. So we're going to use this thing. And X, we're going to switch this thing on. So this is the big height monitor that we've got here. So we'll get this to put out the, the mid part. We'll switch to this monitor, which we'll switch on now. How do I switch it on? Oh, okay, apparently, okay, apparently. Looks like we're just using the top monitor. Anyway, um... So we're waiting for the engine here. Engine's out, we'll use some height to get the tail.
Okay, the aircraft is secured and it's looking remarkably well for just having taken an impact with the building. I think the plane's almost out. In fact, I think the plane is out. Yes, excellent. So, let's, let's lower this majig. So, uh, so we'll switch everything off and we will deploy, they'll douse the, uh, the flames, we'll go on to the runway and start doing debris management. So what we're going to do, we'll, uh, we'll clean the engine while we're at it, why not? So we'll just go into a centre position so we can fight both. And we shall... What the fuck? Is it R? Why is R not working for me? I am confused. Aha, here we go. So, let's activate you. And get you on this bit of debris. Let's go over here. And then we'll go Y, and we'll activate you. So this is this is how we did it, right? Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, fighting two at once. <laughs> Wonder, can you zoom out like this? No. Okay. Still. Yeah, not too bad. Right. Uh, oh no, we're looking right at the ground. My attempts to zoom out of uh, <laughs> have left us to do this. Right, let's uh, let's go back into the proper view so that we can uh, be sure that we're definitely hitting the various parts of the debris. The Okay. Excellent. So we'll do a little cut break here while it does its little wacky old thing. Everything, everything is fine. So that's probably going to be one of the the, the tamest aircraft crashes. The Sea of Flames. Okay, so this is starting to get a little bit annoying actually because we've gone from before before the um, preload. We're now on the preload. Um, but before before it's actually all kicked off and I've got myself stuck. <laughs> and a learning break! Okay guys, step aside. I'm going to open the door carefully now. Alright Alex, be careful. He's going to die. Excellent. Um, why can't I get my equipment? Ah, here we go. Right, fire. Let's use the hose to hose, hose stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay, apparently we're doing yet another loading Come scene. Come on, here we go, guys. But be cautious. I say we split up. Everyone search the rooms one by one. Look everywhere for survivors. John, you go around to the right. Chris and I will start here on the left. You take the first room, Chris, and I'll check out the second. All right, then let's go. Understood. Okay, search rooms on the right for survivors. Fine. Did I take a fire extinguisher with me? Oh god. Oh god. Well, we've got the hose, but I don't know because we've not been able to put anything out with it. Ah, okay, here we go, here we go. Right, okay. Fine. So, that's probably what we should have done here. <laughs> so, no sign of any survivors. Head on through here. So, apparently you can't put it flames if you're on a wall, but, um... Alright, anyway. 
So where are? Well, I don't know where the other guys are. Oh, okay. Well, another loading scene. Ah. How's it looking? I've searched everywhere, but there's no one here. I couldn't find anyone either. Okay, then let's keep going. Excellent. This is why in school you take a register. Loading scene. Step aside. John, grab your axe and break down the door. Everyone ready? Let's go. All right. Let's whack a bitch. Okay, let's split up again. Chris, you go downstairs. John, we'll both carry on upstairs. Fair enough. Okay, right. then let's go. And watch where you step and for God's sake. Alex, what's the situation there? We haven't found any survivors so far. We'll keep looking. Alex, if things get too hot, come back immediately. You understand me? Copy. We'll look out. Shit's dark, yo. It's very dark. Okay, John, let's split up again. You take the left side, and I'll take a look on the right. Don't right. tell me what to do. No. <laughs> uh, right, so we're checking for more survivors, and one of the points here is when I hark it. Alright, so let's go in here. So we're into a computer room, and things just look lovely. Uh, okay. Yeah, he's doing a lot of firefighting in there. I'll put out the room for him because I'm just that kind of person. Ow. I forgot Alex, take. three copy. I thought Chris to leave the building immediately. What's the situation at your end? We couldn't find anyone. And we can't get through here any further. Then team up with Chris immediately. Get the hell out of there before the entire building collapses. Copy. We're on our way. Sure, why not? Right, fall out. That can't be too hard. Well, can't... <laughs> It is if he doesn't move! <laughs> Alright, okay, let's just go and another cutscene for God's sake. Really? Really? Really, really? Oh god. Oh no no, it's the same level, but we're we're now on ordered retreat. Alright! Did you hear that? Yeah, I think there's still someone there. I'm going back. Don't be an idiot, John. You heard what Mike said. The whole building's falling apart. We've gotta get out of here. I'm not leaving anyone behind. Then hurry up. I'll keep the way out clear for us. All right. I didn't hear jack shit. Or is that banging? That everything's banging at the moment. Right. Uh, this is death room. Right. I, we've already checked these places, so let's let's go further back into the building. So it proves. Well, this build, this room's not been checked. Oh shit, we've got someone. They're not looking amazingly alive. Alex, do you copy? Bleh. I found him. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I can't keep the way out clear for much longer. Listen, I'll get you out of here. Thank you. It's a very uncomfortable. I'm sure if you were holding somebody over your shoulder. Like you wouldn't, you wouldn't get this kind of view. This is like holding them like a, like a, uh, you would like a small baby or something. Anyway, um, get the survivor out of the building. I'm not gonna make it like that. I'm gonna pass you down to my colleague. Please be careful. I could hurt so much. Let's throw him off the ledge. John, what are you doing? Alex, you'll have to take him. Okay, I'll try to get closer to you. Fair enough. Hand the survivor. John, over look to out! Him. Get away from there. Is everything okay? Alex. Yeah, I'm okay. Then I'm not going to be able to get out through here anymore. But I'm just gonna get go you out of over there, the John. railing. Hold on. No, that's not gonna help. Just We're not going to be able to get it out of the way. I'll have to look for another way out. But just Don't go be stupid. I'm not leaving you here alone. Make sure you both get out of here safely. I'll figure something out. John, I'll get him out and come back with the others. We'll get you out of here. Hurry up. Uh just jump over the railing. I, this, this this game has more plot. This game has a pothole the size of friggin' Kansas. Anyway, um, with our unfathomably long rope, and we done do the fall. And this is presumably how we um, we end up in the prologue. In any case, it's been twenty minutes. So this is probably a good cliffhanger to um, to end this episode of Airport Firefighter Simulator. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.